In this lesson, I want to explain how to create a dynamic bone. Now look at its ear. It acts like a spring. Okay. We want to create something like this. Or another interesting feature is automatic wind in Moho. You can see it here. All of these features that ha has you can access them in bones. Okay. Let's create a new scene and begin it from scratch. In, in here, I want to create a simple rectangle. Simple rectangle. And as I said before, you have to some split it to better bending. Nice. <clears throat> and we want to create a bone for this. Right click, as I said before, group it, then convert the group to the bone and create some bone for that. Click and drag, click and drag. We create more bone to better bending that. That's it. This is our bone. And uh, as you can see, if you create a manipulate, it's automatically create. We want to make it <clears throat> dynamic bone for all of them. Select them. We can select all of the points as, except the bottom because we don't want to move this button. This is a root. I want to it's, maintain its position. I want to assign the dynamic bone to these bones. We select them and here you can turn on <clears throat> bone dynamic and it's done. And here you can, after that, activate the wind. Just close it. For seeing the dynamic bone, you need a movement to your um, structure. So uh, we add a keyframe to that. Here I set a keyframe, click or um, yeah, you, you can go into the manipulate, click it to the manipulate. And then we have an animation to bring it here, move it straight in this direction. And now you can um, Alt, oh, sorry, uh, Control right click to limit it here. And as you can see, we have a simple dynamic. Okay. <clears throat> we select all of keyframe coming here. And then we can right click and copy them, bring it there and right click and paste them again to bring it back in position. So we have a simple animation. As you can see, we have a simple dynamic. <clears throat> uh, for you can uh, click and drag holding alt to expanding uniformly and I think it's better we have as you can see we have a situation here for dynamic yep this is a dynamic as you can see you can control them by changing its settings I don't like that the settings coming back then select all of the bone that I uh, <clears throat> assign them for a <clears throat> bone dynamic and you can play it. Mm -hmm. I need more damping. Yeah, as you can see, you can increase the damping, more damping, or I don't like, a, it's a, a torque force. If you mm, bring a, a spring zero, as you can see, this is a torque force. Just, just give it a directional, a rotational force if you select the pino. But if you add a spring force to that, we have some springy way. Or if you don't, any torque, as you can see, we have no spring because the torque is very important. We have a smaller torque that you can assign. So we can create such a distance. Okay. This is all about the uh spring you can assign it more a few more torque 
yeah okay and here it's a simple animation if you delete the animation and you want to affect it as a wind it's very simple select the bone that you want to bend effect you have to turn the bone dynamic on because it's you cannot turn the wind after that you can select them turn on the wind and it's okay and then as we can see we have an automatic wind there it's very nice you can also right click control right click to here to uh, limit the wind there and as you can see we have a wind tool here after that you select be careful you have to select the bone that you want to select all the bone that you active the dynamic bone for them and here our wind tool if you select the wind tool you can select click and drag to change the wind direction with this arrow interesting as you can see this wind has a uh, frequency you can change the frequency if you want more changes you can change the turbulent frequency if you want to for example uh, how much this frequency how amplitude of that you can make it as you can see we have more dense or strength of wind you can change the strength of it as you can see this arrow uh, <clears throat> visualize this the settings if this arrow is too long it means we have more strength of power here we can change the direction of that and as you can see the direction of this um, wind because of the turbulence is changing these are random less randomly change the frequency uh, imagine this wind has a sine frequency turn it uh, make it power uh, for example we need more strings it changed the strings up and down change the direction you can see it in this arrow as you can see it's changing the power and changing it's all about the frequency in which frequency we need if you more frequency we have more turbulence and the cycle of this changing uh, increases and how much this frequency changing imagine a sine wave going up and down this you can define that peak with the turbulence amplitude so you can change the uh, numbers and experiment your desired goal um, to achieve your desired goal so this is simple you can create in classes you can create anything with that for example in this scene as you can see if you select the bones uh, in, it's, in this gear here we have a lot of bone that uh, they're assigned uh, lots of their to these bones that are brown i think yeah uh, you can see we have a wind direction you can activate wind as you can see the wind in whole scene is there and you can as you can see it's, and another interesting thing another interesting thing for wind you can animate this parameter for example from here oh i suddenly animated it from here this is our wind for example i don't want to turn the wind on from here i make the strength zero oh. I make the string zero enter its k frame and after that i want to assign a string to that and hit enter and as you can see we don't have any wind from the beginning and after that boom the wind will be oh we have a k frame at the zero I'll delete that we don't have any wind and after that we have a wind you can animate as you can see oh it's increasing the wind to the zero we have we have i have to set it to the zero at the beginning again and zero 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 and suddenly we have a wind boom and of course you can animate the turbulent amplitude the direction for example i want to zero direction here go to this box and enter or a little number and then in this direction i want to change it direction or you can click and drag it so it's k frame look at
nice and then change it direction so you can animate this parameter for a wind don't forget that it's very simple and here as you can see it's uh, it's assigned that wind to the this hair and simply add a cycle animation to that or we assign a dynamic bone in its <clears throat> ears interesting two important and interesting feature you'll learn them and you can use them in project it's very easy hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release